Hey, I'm Nicole Burton of Kinks by Nikki Wearable Art LLC. I am a 50 year old um, self taught artist with a background in early childhood education. I try to use my God given talent to spread the love of art and joy through teaching. Um, wearable art was something when I started about 25 years ago that was not anything um, that a lot of people sold in stores, especially what I was looking for. So if I could see it, I felt like I can make it, and then I did. So today, we are going to create a wearable piece of art that you can carry, not necessarily on your um, person, but a tote bag. A tote bag is something that you can put groceries in. Um, it's a nice little piece that you pick up when you're going to go shopping, uh, and it's just a, an accent piece. So the first thing you need to do is you need to grab um, a canvas tote bag, which you know has a decent size handle on it. You need a board, something to keep the paint from soaking through. And then we're going to use household items or found objects. So today I have bubble wrap and then I cut it. So you can cut it um, in any shape that you want. You can use a circle, you can use squares, rectangles. Sometimes the smaller the piece, the better because that way you can get um, different sizes, different angles with it. We are using plastic utensils, our newfound favorite friends due to COVID-19. I'm using a lid to a mason jar. Um, you can use either side. So there's a circle here, and then you have the rim of this circle, and you'll use this as a stamp. And then we have a straw. So a straw is good because it has an open end on either side, and you can also use that as a stamp and we have a stencil. So leopard is a neutral and so is camo for all of you who didn't know. You can wear them together. You can wear them with plaid. Matching is overrated, so do you. So you can use this as well. You can just sit it down. You can blot it with a paper towel and pick it back up. You can wash it off. You can leave the paint on there. If that's something that you like to do, but you can also use that. So here we are. I have my handy dandy paintbrush. If anybody used to watch Blue's Clues, they always said handy dandy. So I'm just gonna pour this paint on here and I'm using a soft fabric paint. And I'm literally just brushing it on here. No rhyme or reason. And I'm a little OCD when I paint. Um, my brush strokes tend to go all the same way the first time and the second time, just to try to give the canvas or whatever I'm working on full coverage. And sometimes when things, you know, when you're painting things, you don't necessarily um, want to be sloppy unless that's the look that you're going for. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and I will attempt to blend these in the middle. And it's cool too if you don't um, rinse your brush out because then that also adds to the blending you can also use a paper towel to get a desired um, look on the background. And if you wanted to go back in over top of this with a paper towel and add additional coloring, you can do that too. So as a child, I used to watch Bob Ross I would get up and do my chores so that I could be in the living room with my uh, art supplies and I would be making my happy little accidents. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Um, I will clean this off just a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in 
with a little bit of black on the bubble wrap. And sometimes in art, you just have to let go. You can't really overthink it too much. That's when it gets stressful and that's when it actually feels like work. So I'm just gonna randomly place this and pick it up. And then I'm gonna go back in one more time with a little bit of white, which mixed with the black is going to turn gray. Voila, we have bubbles. So now I'm gonna use my knife as kind of like a palette knife. And because it has teeth on it, once you spread it, it gives a little texture also. So you can also use a fork to give you lines. So sometimes I um, like to create tribal markings and they use a lot of lines. And this is a good way to cheat too. Okay. So with the rim, um, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of a dimensional paint and line this with the dimensional paint. You can also dip this in the paint on your tray. Um, you can go just kind of turn it around that way and it still gives you the same effect with this paint you might have to do this another time as well so press really hard let it sit there for a few seconds and then pick it up. This almost looks like a tic-tac-toe board if I added some X's in there. And then you can go in with your straw Now the thing with the straw is um, sometimes the paint gets caught up in the circle. So you just wanna blow it a little bit to make sure that it's open before you use it. And those will also give you some smaller circles. All right. And with the uh, dimensional paint, you can go in and you can add squiggles or zigzags. This paint will take a little bit longer to dry um, just because it is uh, dimensional. So when you're painting and you're finished, leave the board in the bag. And I would say give it about an hour or two and let it dry. By that time it's dry. When you're finished, you can um, turn it inside out 
and run a uh, hot iron over top of it to set the paint. It's washable, but you'll need to wait 72 hours, which is three days before you can wash it. If you wash it before then, the paint will come off. If you wanted to put a word in here, you can do that with this. With this paint, um, squeeze gently. So dope is my word. I love the 80s because that was the era that I grew up in. And so dope has always been my word. So you want to squeeze gently. If you squeeze too hard, you'll end up with a blob. And if you do end up with a blob, you literally can paint it out with a paintbrush and just make it look like that's what was meant to happen and then go back over it with the dimensional paint. And so I'm going to sign the bottom as well. So you can use Sharpies, you can use um, paint markers, but literally you can use anything um, to make art. There's really no right or wrong. And if you wanted to go back in and use this over top of everything, you literally could add this with a shimmer, like a glitter um, fabric spray paint, or you can go back in with white because the white it will be sheer enough that all the other colors will come through once it dries. All right, so um, here is the finished product, our tote bag. And if you want more information on classes, I teach uh, virtual paint parties, in-person paint parties for parties smaller than six. You can reach me at www.kinksbynikki.com and that's K-I-N-C-S-B-Y-N-I-C-K-I. -I. Kinks by Nikki on Instagram and Facebook as well. K-I-N-C-S-B-Y-N-I-C-K-I. Thank you.